Hey guys, if you're anything like me, you probably just bought a backyard 1,000 gallon pool only to learn that we're in the midst of a massive chlorine shortage, meaning it is really, really hard to get chlorine right now. And if you do find it, you're probably gonna either have to wait a really long time to get it or you're gonna pay just probably 10 times more than you should have to pay for this chlorine. So you're probably wondering, can I use bleach in my pool? Especially if you have a really little pool like this. A thousand gallons is like 1 30th of the size of a lot of these backyard pools. Well, the short answer is yes, you can totally use chlorine as a source for bleach, but it is a little bit more complicated than, than that. You wanna maintain about one to three parts per million of chlorine in your little pool so you don't get things like algae growth. And with bleach, it's about, usually about 6% um, active chlorine. It's in the form of sodium hypochlorate. And to get to about three parts per million, you kind of have to figure out how much to add. So per one part per million that you need to raise your chlorine levels, you're gonna add one quarter cup per thousand gallons. So if I wanna raise it from zero to three parts per million, I'm going to add about three quarters of a cup to this 1,000 gallon pool, which is really not bad when you consider chlorine costs like three bucks for a gallon. And those little pellets of chlorine or tablets are just way expensive. Now the problem is that this pool and probably your backyard pool is right in the sun and chlorine has almost no UV stability. So if I bump this up to three parts per million, it's, and I test it in, you know, um, three hours, I'll probably find that that chlorine is diminished to, if not zero, really close to zero. So you have to add something called cyanuric acid, which is a chlorine stabilizer. And luckily that's pretty attainable right now. I just found some at Walmart. Um, and I see you can usually get it on places like Amazon. So this is Clorox Chlorine Stabilizer and it's cyanuric acid. It says how much to add on the back. And this is like a lifetime supply for a little pool like this. And it costs about 12 bucks. I will mention it's really, really hard to dissolve. So what I did is I added it to an old sock and put it in front of the intake of my little pool pump here which seemed to work pretty well for dissolving it after about an hour you can kind of squish it up and it pretty rapidly or readily dissolves into the pool and after that i found my chlorine levels to be really very stable i will mention though you don't want to add too much of this because if you add too much um, you'll, what you'll end up with is all the chlorine that you're adding will bind up and it won't be readily available to attack those little bacteria and algae that are trying to get in your pool. So try to maintain 30 to 50 parts per million. If you don't know how much you've, you have in your pool, start by just adding a little bit and see how that chlorine reacts after a day or so. Are you still losing chlorine or not? If you've already been using tablets, they already usually have cyanuric acid in them. So you may actually have a good bit in your pool and you may find that by adding bleach, your chlorine's actually holding out pretty good or pretty okay. If your pool is indoors, you don't need to add the stabilizer because you don't have the UV light problem like you have with a pool outdoors like this. Just a couple other things I can mention. Um, if you need to raise your alkalinity, you can do that with just household baking soda. So that's another thing you don't have to deal with shortages right now. Um, and you want to maintain a pH level that is usually between, you know, 7.2 and 7.6 for your chlorine to be really effective. If you go too low, it can start to kind of burn your eyes. If you go too high, the chlorine can be less effective. So to do that, you'll use um, pH increaser or pH decreaser, which I also found to be readily available right now. So it's not too big of a deal. Um, I hope that helps you out and keeps your, your pool from turning green on you. Thanks for watching.